Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today is another update in the Panning Games. This was created by Amber and is being hosted by the Pantastic Ladies. I will have the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group link down below as well as the link to Amber and all of those who are participating in this project. This project goes from August 1st, 2018 through August 1st of 2019, but I started late. So my update is one behind. I started in September. So let's just jump in. We were to pick 24 items and I, as of last update, I had finished five to as of today, I have finished one more. The one that I finished took me a while, but it's this Pearl Ease Blue Lotus Mud Mask. I finished it on the 29th. Is that what my note says here? Maybe the 24th of um, January. So it was last month. Um, that I finished this. I really liked this mud mask. Um, I will miss it, but it is done. So I have another one done. So let's just jump in. The first one I want to go over, I haven't actually shown you guys this in a while because it shattered right after um, I started this project, but that is my Seraphine Botanicals Lychee and Gold Blush. I have repressed it finally, took me forever. And that is what I have left. It's not a whole lot. I knew I was getting down there because I kept using it. I have not used it since last month though because I've been concentrating on a different blush in another project. I am glad that I got this repressed. It is such a pretty color and I'm excited to start using it again in solid form, not powder form. We'll stay on the powder um, kick for a minute. Then I have a single eyeshadow by Luna Cosmetics. And if I can get the lid open, I'll show it to you. This is Juliet. It is this beautiful pink and I always forget to use it and then I show it to you guys here in the videos and I'm like why don't I use that so I really need to start using it the sunlight is kind of whacking it but that is it right there it is so pretty I really like it but I always forget to use it the other two powder products that I have in this project one I lost for a while and then just found in December, and that is my Becca Champagne Pop. As you can see, I hit pan since the last time, um, last update in January. I am so excited by that itty bitty piece of pan. The light just wants to reflect off of that. It's not that big, but it is growing. Um, every time I use it. I have really fallen in love with Champagne Pop. It wasn't my favorite um, for, for the longest time, but now I really, really like it. And that is it right there. In fact, I have it on today um, as a highlight and on the inner corner of my eye. I don't know if you can see but that is what I am wearing. So, yeah, my look is very simple today. It's three eyeshadows, three, four, four, eye, four eyeshadow colors and the highlight brought, and it's in my inner corner and then brought up onto my lid because I just wanted something simple and different. It kind of is different. And then the last one is my City Mini palette called Downtown Sunrise. This was my favorite palette of 2018. I am still enjoying the heck out of this palette. This is what it looks like. Here. I'm trying to get it so the light, the sunlight, 
is not reflecting so you can actually see. I've got a really good dip up here on top and I'm hoping I will hit pan soon. I keep hoping and I keep hoping and it doesn't hit. And then this one's got a significant dip going and so does this brown, but it's right in the middle so it's harder to see. And I think this one looks like it has a dip, but I think somehow something dirty, I'm assuming the chocolate brown, got on um, that eyeshadow. But, yep, that is where we're at. The three mattes do not worry me, but the three um, shimmer shades do worry me because... I don't reach for them as much as I do the mattes in here. In today's look, I have this as an all over, and this is one of my transition shades, and I didn't even use the brown. So, yeah. Then I have my weekly product pan on my lid, and then in my crease I have my eyeshadow from another project so i'm all over the board today on my eye look and they kind of maybe contradict each other some i don't know because my eyelid is orange and then the crease is uh like a rose color and then i've got those two excuse me those two browns so i'm just kind of all over and I like being all over the place. It makes life fun. I have had this Hourglass Primer in my project forever and I hadn't used it, but I couldn't find my other primer. So I have been using this. I have re since found it, but I have quite a bit of movement on it. You can see the sides are scraped. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get to the bottom of it. I really do like this primer. Um, it makes my my face feel really, really soft <laughs> when I use it. So I really enjoy it, but it's not something I can afford, but I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. Then my Skin Fix Minty Mint Lip Balm. I am down to here. I suppose all the air out until the product came out. So that is where I am at today. I only have a little bit left. I have been using the heck out of this trying to um, really make progress because this takes just a little bit of product and so you don't need a whole lot. So I've been using it and using it and using it and I'm I'm making progress. I'm hoping it'll be done by August. That's my concern. Then I have my Jante Blue um, eyeliner in dark brown. I never measured this, but it was brand new when I brought it in, and this is where I am at with it now. I have been trying to wear this every day on just the outside part of my lower lash line, not on my waterline, but just on the outside, um, just to use it. Um, I didn't put it on today, I forgot, but that's how I have been using it. And so it's slowly making progress. My goal is to get this done as far down as I can sharpen it and there not be any more product. That would make me happy. Then I have this Nude Sticks eye color, eye color in taupe. I have been using this not as consistently. I use it a few times a month. And again, I did not measure this, but this was pretty much brand new when I brought it in. And so I have that much left. Again, I want to finish this completely. I just need to remember to use it um, more often because I was going to use it today and then I forgot and it was too late because half my eyes were done. So that is Taupe by Nude, Nude Sticks. I really like this. I like the color. It's a really great option 
for a quick look and out the door when I need that. So I do like it. I just wish I remember to use it. Then I have a ton of lip products. And the first one is my Kat Von D Double Dare Deluxe Size Sample. Deluxe size lipstick, I should say, not sample, but lipstick. And that is it right there. I never measured it when I brought it in, but it was brand new when I brought it in. I think I'd worn it maybe once. And it looks like I have a diff another color on there. Shows that I layer my lipsticks, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyways, that is how much I have left. I think. I think I will be able to get this done, I hope. I don't wear it that often, but I'm hoping I do finish it. Again, that's my goal. The other bullet lipstick I have is my Makeup Forever um, Deluxe Size Lipstick in the shade 211. And last time I talked to you, I this had broken and I told you I was thinking about um, scraping it out and making a lip balm with it and I did do that and so this is it right here. I used the Shea Butter from my A to Z project pan and at first I put it in that tin but it was too hard I couldn't get the product out and so I remelted it and put it in the tubes and put a couple of drops of coconut oil and now it is a little liquidy it still works and I use it every day every day I use it but um, it's just a little softer than I would like but that is what it looks like um, that's what it looked like before that's what it looks like now it's just a little softer so I have two of these now to get through by August. So that one worries me a little. I wouldn't worry about it if it wasn't so soft, but it is. And so I am a little worried about getting both of these tubes done by August. Then I have two lip glosses and they just happen to be from the same brand. It was just accidental that I drew two from the same brand but I have my Lipstick Queen Hello Sailor and I have Lipstick Queen's Frog Prints. I have more done in Hello Sailor than I do in Frog Prints. In fact, you can, if I take, let me see if I can hold, get the light just right. You can actually see through the tube for a lot of this. So I have quite a bit of Hello Sailor done, which excites me yet saddens me because I really love Hello Sailor. Now Frog Prints, I don't have as much done. This is what Frog Prints looks like. Um, when you take the wand out, there is a little bit of space, but not enough to say that I've made movement. That's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I have until August to keep working on those. Then I have two liquid lipsticks. I have Andorra by BH Cosmetics. I thought it was Rose, but she's Andorra, and she's a very pretty rose shade if I can swatch it sorry see that is Andorra right there I do not wear her as much as I wear blush is that what it's called yeah blush by Rimmel it's their stay matte I wear the heck out of this and this is getting really really um, low in fact I'm starting to see through the bottle when I um, when I use it. So that is exciting. I love blush. 
It's probably my favorite um, liquid lipstick at the moment. So I'm glad it's in a project and that could be why. It is my one of my favorite liquid lipsticks, but it's just so versatile, so I really do like it. Then the last four items that we have are skincare, face care, problems, problems, products. I couldn't even think of the word for that a second. Okay, the first one is this Amazing Grace Body Emulsion. I do have one done. This has not been started, but one of them is done because I did have two deluxe size samples of this. So I'm in the home stretch. I'm halfway done. And then the next item I also had two of because they are also deluxe size samples. I assume they're deluxe size samples. And anyways, this is the simple um, hydrating gel cream right here. I thought it was a face cream, but it's not. It's a body cream. And it's all right. It's not hydrating enough for my skin and it kind of burns, but you know, it is what it is. And I wasn't expecting the burn since this is meant for sensitive skin, but it does so it's not for this sensitive skin but um i'm sure it would be great for a lot of other people i have a face serum it's by neostrata it's their illuminating serum i do like this but when i tried it last which was i think in november it burned like nobody's business and so i um, have decided not to use this until spring so once spring hits i'm gonna have to hustle my bustle to get this done by um by august then the last one is my Ella Maison Fig and Basil Hand and Body Cream. I really like this. What I don't like is that for this project, this is going to be a tough one because it takes just a little bit of it. A little bit goes a long way. So I have not made a lot of progress, but then again, I haven't really buckled down and just seriously concentrated on it. I've been working on other um, creams and other projects, so I need to um, do that. I need to buckle down. I probably will after I get these other two. Um, the Amazing Grace Body Emulsion and the Simple Hydrating Gel Cream. Once those two are done, I think I am going to concentrate on these, on this hand and body lotion and get it done because I really like it and I think it's great for this time of year. It's pretty hydrating um, and it smells really, really good. I just haven't used it much. So that is it for my panning games update. I am excited that I completed another item um, from my list bringing me down to, I guess that brings me down to 18. I'm terrible at math. Yeah, because now I have six done. 18. That makes me very happy because when I signed up for this, I was a little intimidated by having 24 items to pan. I mean, obviously it still intimidates me because I couldn't even do 19 and 19 because that intimidated me. And that's just silly if I'm doing 24. You would think I could do 19, but that's neither here nor there. I have 24 items and so I am working my butt off to get those 24 items done. And I hope that I will have a few more done at next update. That is my goal. I really hope I do. And if not a couple, more than a couple would be even better, but a couple would be my ideal. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. And if you aren't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Um, I would love to have you join our little family and don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified whenever I upload a video. 
You guys, take good care of yourself. Be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.